Welcome to Turning Hard Times to Good Times. I'm your host, Jay Taylor, and I'm talking to you from New York City on this, the 10th day of August, 2021. I do want to thank all of you for listening to this show, making it one of the more popular shows on the Voice America Business Channel, and also like to encourage you to continue sending along whatever comments you have about this show. Send them to questionsfortaylor at gmail.com, questions the number four, Taylor at gmail.com. And, of course, we do want to thank our sponsors for making this show economically viable. Novo Resources, LOO Resources, Hannon Metals, Labrador Gold Corp, Lion One Metals, SK Mining Corp, NV Gold Corp, and Firefox Gold are this week's sponsors. Before I talk about today's show, with the gold markets getting slammed by massive paper market sales by the major bullion banks over the past few trading days, it would have been good to have Michael Oliver with us today to get his take on just how serious this decline is in the yellow metal. But since he is not with us today, I thought I would pass along some remarks that he sent out yesterday following uh, the bloodbath in the gold market. And he said, and I quote, As we said in the weekend report, we expect this week on weekly momentum to be the last week for bears to do whatever they can do. Then the table begins to turn. Admittedly, we were surprised by the depth of this week. Panic collapses soon after a major high several months or so, if they break major if they break major long term momentum structures can in fact be the beginning of new trends. But when a panic occurs more than a year after a fully confirmed momentum high, as last August high was by all metrics, then the panic is more likely a buying situation. It's best to see more bounce before fully assuming that. End of quote. So the bottom line from Michael's perspective is that while he, he believes the possibility of a, of a new trend direction on the downside is there, he thinks that is highly unlikely. And uh, he not only believes we are likely reaching a bottom here, but in his weekly missive he said he is putting his money where his mouth is by buying more silver. I should also like to mention a very good article written by Matthew Piepenberg which you can access at miningstocks.com. The link is right there. You just scroll down to the orange title uh, on the front homepage. It's significant weekly market headlines, and the first two articles that are there uh, are by Mr. Piepenberg, and I think they're very valuable in terms of helping you not only understanding uh, understand why the uh, the recent takedown in gold, but also how it is related to the Basel III arrangement. He explains the connection uh, essentially saying that uh, it was a buy the rumor, sell the news kind of a thing where uh, a lot of the interests were were covering their shorts by buying gold, and that drove the price up, and then uh, the opposite occurred. Uh, but he's certainly longer-term bullish on gold as well. Uh, short-term, um, well, you know, short-term, anything can happen, that's for sure. Uh, but uh, Michael Oliver, OliverMSA.com is the place to go to keep up with Michael, and he will be sending out misses whenever they're urgent, like he did just yesterday after uh, the major uh, downturn in gold. Today, it seems to be, gold seems to be finding some stability uh, in its current range. Uh, those of us that are bullish hope that this is about it on the downside, but time will tell. I've titled today's show, The Great Eruption is Upon Us. Richard Mayberry and Dr. Quentin Henning are return guests this week. The title of this week's show is the main topic featured in Richard Mayberry's August 21st, his August 2021 letter. Richard says that he is 90% sure that the great eruption has begun. He says it will result in many bankruptcies, but also new fortunes among those who understand it. He says that the uh, three components of the great eruption are the rebellion against the swamp, the new era of inflation, and cyber war. He explains each uh, component and the instability that comes with them will be explored. Uh, well, we will explore those ideas with Richard when he's with us in the second half of today's show. Those are how bad will it get? Is hyperinflation a possibility? And will a currency reset coincide with the great eruption? These are some of the questions that I want to ask, uh, ask him when he's with us. Uh, most importantly, though, uh, how does Richard think those who are able to clearly envision the future uh, direction of America, how can they turn hard times into good times so we can help us live up to the name of our show. One possibility is to own companies that produce gold and silver, which several thousand years of history tells us 
the markets will eventually demand as money. Quentin uh, Henning will update us on one of your host's favorite new gold producers, that's Novo Resources. Novo appears to be approaching production optimization at its Beaton's Creek gold mine in Australia, which I believe will be one of many more to come in Australia for that company. If so, these shares should uh, should be set, I think, for a nice ride higher to higher levels uh, as the company starts to uh, report on a quarterly basis now its production and uh, obviously its financials as well. So I, I'm really uh, very excited about Nova Resources and a number of the companies that are sponsors to this show and others that are not that I follow in my newsletter, Jay Taylor's Gold Energy and Tech Stocks, and you can sign up for that by going to miningstocks.com, miningstocks.com uh, to sign up for my weekly and monthly letter. <laughs> 